Hello everyone, I'm your host, Boss Zombie. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Turns out I already had a quest that I hadn't done that was part of the Imperial City stuff. This one, remember a while back I was in the Temple District and a Dunmer, was it a Dunmer lady? Yeah, just like popped up behind me and was like, here, I have something for you. Yeah, that's this. A Dunmer, no, Dunmer named Ralsa Norvalo has approached me and said that her husband needs assistance in a matter of what she calls the utmost importance to the safety of the citizens of the Imperial City. She told me to meet Gillen at, his ho at the house of someone named Serador. Apparently all will be explained when I get there. Okay. Well, here's the place. Now for all to be explained. Order of the Virtuous Blood is the name of the quest, so I imagine it's something to do with vampires. It's an honor to finally meet you. When I heard you were in town, I just had to send for your help. Your reputation precedes you. Well, thank you. Oh. Allow me to introduce myself. Your head is very narrow. I am Sedor. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Sorry to send Gillen's wife to get you in that manner, but it seems safer if we weren't seen on the streets right now. If you'll come with me. Okay. Splendid. Watch your step. Dude, your armor's awesome. How are you? Fantastic. Thanks for asking. Sylvan Dolls. If you need to get rid of something quickly, check out the copious coin purse. Thorinir isn't too picky, which is nice. Oh? Bye. That was a weird exchange. How do you do? Just fine. I like your armor. Ooh. Well, I was going to say maybe this is Dawn Guard stuff, but I'm pretty sure Dawn Guard exists only in Skyrim? Maybe not. Hello, Mr. Argonian. I'm honored by your presence. Great throat. Nice. Welcome. You are now in the sanctuary of the Order of the Virtuous Blood. Few outside our circle have ever set foot in our hallowed hall. We are, for lack of a better word, defenders. We guard this city from an infestation that plagues it. We are vampires. Boy, vampires are a serious I'm problem sure in Cyrodiil. I'm sure familiar with these despicable beings, feeding on the innocent as if they were cattle. Well, this group was formed to combat them. Alas, we are but three old men, not able to match the fighting prowess of a vampire. We lack the strength to defeat them in battle. Okay, you're a vampire? Our goal is to root out the vampires that live in our fair city. So far, we've been unsuccessful finding one, until now. It's come to the Order's attention that Temple District resident Roland Jensen is a vampire, and has already claimed. That's where you come in. We want you to slay this vampire and cleanse the city of his filth before he can feed or kill again. How do you know? A few nights ago, I was roaming the city as I often do, looking for any signs of a vampire. As I headed past Roland's house, I heard a cry. I rushed into the back garden to find Roland struggling with a woman he'd been courting. I tried to intervene, but he was too strong. He threw his lover to the ground and turned his attention on me. Luckily, I managed to run back into the street and escape his grasp. I hid for a while and then returned to the garden. Roland was gone and the woman was dead. She had two puncture marks on the nape of her neck. That's when I realized he was a vampire. The Order needs you to track him and destroy him. Needs to? Oops, typo there. I would start by searching his home. He hasn't been there for days, so it should be safe. Return to us here if you have questions. We meet at night. Hmm. His home is located in the Temple District. Right across the garden from my home, in fact. Ironic, isn't it? Vampires are nasty creatures. They drink the blood of others to conceal their true nature. Such trickery makes them difficult to find. You may ask Gillen Norvalo. Or Greythroat about these creatures as well. They've learned much. Okay. Who knows when Roland may strike again? You must hurry. My knowledge is at your disposal. The heck, dude? Roland was always a quiet man. It was only recently he'd met that young lady. Poor girl. We must avenge her death. Vampire? It's said that the bite of a vampire has a chance of infecting the victim. If this occurs, they'll become a vampire in a few days. 
I mean, I didn't even get bit. I got like hit with a sword or something, and I started turning into a vampire. So watch your back. How can I be of service? The dude. Roland was very much the loner. He never married and was rarely seen outside his house. I'm surprised his secret wasn't discovered sooner. Vampire? A vampire cannot exist in the daylight for long. As the sun's rays strike his flesh, it will burn as if on fire. Huh. Be ever vigilant. Vampires are creatures of the deep. Well, so am I, but I don't drink people's blood. A pleasure to speak with you. Uh, hi? Hello. A pleasure. You're okay, I'm why are you? Keep here? a low profile for a while. Serador is asleep right now. He's had a long night of study, and he's exhausted. Do not disturb him. He'll be up at five this evening. Okay, your armor's sweet. All right, I guess we're going vampire hunting. Hello again, fellow vampire hunter. Jeez, just yell it in the middle of the street, why don't you? Those two bonuses are just going to stay in the top right corner, huh? Alright. Is this it? Roland Jens? Oh, no one sees me. No one sees me. Let me in. Okay. I've arrived at Roland Jensrick's house. I should begin the search of the place for any clues as to his whereabouts. Maybe in this chest? That was easy. Handbill. When you need protecting, wear armor made at the best defense. We'll keep. Okay. Shopping list? Apples, onions, lard, cheese, milk. Love letter from Rafina. After searching Roland's home, I found a letter written to Roland from his girlfriend. It mentions a cabin where the two would meet. It's located east of the Imperial City in the Great Forest. I think this may be where Roland could be hiding. Just head out there immediately before. My dear Roland, I can't wait for your return from Bravel. My heart swells with joy as I know we will once again be s soon be together. I yearn for you every night I look at the bed. I look beside me. I, I yearn for you every night that I look beside me in my bed. You are not there. I wish I could have taken the journey with you, but I understand these are dangerous times. I would only slow you down. When you return, perhaps we should get away from the chaos of the Imperial City. Let's go back to the cabin in the woods. When we said we would always be safe from the world. The one where you took me in your arms and sang songs of moonlight and happiness. The one where you said, I love you. Hurry, my love, Rafina. Huh. Well, she likes him. Interesting. Nobody see me. You didn't see anything. Sir? You have my ear. What you okay, you aren't trying to arrest me, Carry so... On. Good, good, good. Uh, where? I think the note said out to the west, right? East of the Imperial City in the Great Forest. Uh, where the hell is the Great Forest? Is it to the south or to the north? Great for oh, There it is. Oh, it's right there. Well, that's easy. Well, I hit the Vilverin and walk on over. Nice. What the hell? What is this? How did I miss this camp? Okay. Weird. We're just bandits here? I'm gonna... How? What? Metro boots. 
What is my rating for this? Actually, I can save myself some time. Boom, boom, boom. And then look at my stuff. I'll take that. Uh, Mithra boost. Weight 3, resistance 2. Okay, they're the same. Gauntlets? They're heavy. Okay. It was worth checking. Book? Oh, nice. Hand to hand. Coincidentally, it was a book about immortal blood, which I think is a book about vampires, if I remember right. Put this bad boy away while I walk. Oh, this is. Look at this lovely countryside-ness. I hadn't seen this part of the map yet. And I can't make it over this fence. There we go. Peggy! No. God, what a sound that made. I'm sure this is all going to be a huge misunderstanding. Because usually paranoid clubs like that are wrong. Although they could also be right. Puncture. It could be the guy just exaggerated everything because he's a paranoid loony. It depends. If I get there and he attacks me, it'll be a problem. If I get there and he talks to me, maybe not. What a lovely little cabin. How do you stay safe out here? I arrived at Roland's cabin. I should proceed inside to see if he's here. I should be cautious. A seer to warn me that vampires could be very dangerous. I have dealt with vampires. Hello? Go away. I know what you're here for. Just leave me alone. You don't look like a vampire. Vampire? Why would you ask me about those filthy creatures? Sirido says you're a vampire. That bastard. Sirido dares accuse me of being a vampire? Me? Ha! He's the one who is the vampire. Oh. I can't believe him. I knew he would try and pin this on me. If only I could get my hands on him. Calm down and explain. I, I'm sorry. I've been hiding up here in this cabin and I forgot my manners. Try and understand. I loved her. I'd never harm her. Rosfina was the love of my life. For the first time, I had a positive outlook. Then I saw Seridor looking at her with those coveting eyes. When she started taking walks in the garden at night, I became suspicious. I didn't want to lose her. I should have trusted her. Oh, Rosfina. What happened? Yes. I must let someone else know. That night, I decided to follow Rosfina. I wanted to see where she went on her walk. When she stopped in the garden and Serida stepped out of the shadow, my heart sank. When suddenly he was upon her. She seemed entranced as he wrapped his arms around her and sank his teeth into her neck. I burst from my hiding place and attacked Serido. He became startled for a moment and tossed Rolfina aside. She fell to the ground, and I heard a sickening crack as her head struck a stone. I was no equal to Serido. He knocked me down in one quick movement. As I lost consciousness, I saw him laugh and then run away. Mm, that's quite a twist. Now I know why he didn't finish me that night. He wanted to cast suspicions on me instead. Why did you tell someone? I panicked. By the time I awoke, her body was gone. I knew Seridor was a respected member of the community. They'd never believe he was a vampire. I retreated here to the cabin to collect my thoughts. Ah. I suppose you must decide what to do. Are you going to kill me? Of course not. I'm not going to kill you. Thank you. I'm happy you gave me a chance to... You very clearly aren't a vampire. I know about Seridor and his secret order. What better way for a vampire to hide than to pretend he hunts them? You may want it to speak clever. to Fintius of the first edition bookshop in the market district of the city. I know he goes there occasionally. I doubt that he's told Gillen and Greystroat anything, but you could always try. Hmm. Vampire? As you know, the vampire can't remain in tunnels. I'd wager that you'll never see Seridor outside during that time of day. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, please, go on. Wow, you are maxed out and... Remain leery of Seridor. He's much more cunning than you may suspect. Thanks. I like your cabin. It's a shame that your girlfriend died. It's more than a shame. It's actually pretty sad. Alright, I'm about to go stab me a vampire. That happens a lot. 
I've been finding myself doing that more and more these days. Hmm. Good old vampire stabbing. What time is it? It is 9 o'clock. It might be too late for anything, but... Maybe if I'm lucky, the store's still open. God, the first edition. It keeps coming back to this place, too. Who knew books were so important? Good day. Serator? Serator? He comes in from time to time. Usually it's when he's out shopping. He always comes in with a large amount of travel food in his bag. Then sometimes he buys a few books. I asked him once about it. And he said that he goes out of the city on business trips. I think I overheard him once mention Memorial Cave to another patron of mine. But he never talked to me about it directly. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's outside of the Imperial City. I heard it's a place where many of the heroes from past wars are buried. Oh, good. It's sort of a subterranean graveyard. I just assumed Serator had a relative that died and is buried there. Not many people go out there anymore. Serator is a stubborn one. <laughs> it takes integrity for a man to risk his own life to honor the fallen. I admire him. Yeah, he's a I vampire. Up once in an old atlas I had in stock. Here, let me mark it on your map. Oh, hope you aren't too Good attached day. to him because he's about to be not too attached to his head. What can you do? What can you do? Oh, that is real close. Unfortunately, it's on the outside of town, so getting there can be kind of annoying. How do you leave the city once you've entered? Maybe from the arboretum? Arbor 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 Place of the plants? Come on, come on. Good boy. If I follow my map marker, it should actually lead me out of, out of town, right? So these are supposed to be the different divines. Two, four. If there's a total of nine, then it is. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, this is... Can I do anything with these? Oh, hmm. All right. The divines are so strange. You get powers from believing in them, but you never actually see much of interaction with them. Whereas it's the opposite for the Daedra. The Daedra, well, then it's not the opposite. They give you tons of stuff, and where am I? Where are you taking me, game? Let's just let's just go this way. The Daedra, you see, hear about interactions with them a ton. They love messing with people. Some of them. Some of them are... Few of them are nice. Zura is one of them, but... I would say that most of the rest... Malakath is very invested in protecting the orcs. Or leading them down his weird path of Malakathiness. Most of the other ones kind of suck. Shigorath is kind of like a neutral... Actually, there's a couple that are, like, neutral. Shia Gorath is... What is that thing? What the hell are you? Landrilla? That's a new one. It's horrifying. It's like a crab man. Ah. No, sir. I don't like it. That was freaky. Where is this place? It's, it's, it's a bit of a walk, but not too far. God, you get in water and you immediately sink like a stone. It's very strange. Apparently, I, I looked this up, apparently this game is longer than any of the Fallout games. Well, not Fallout 4. But, I, this probably is going to go past 101 episodes. That I managed to get three in New Vegas cut down to. 
That was pure coincidence, by the way, that I managed to get them both down to exactly 101 episodes and accomplish everything I want. Like, I still can't believe that it... Especially because Fallout 3, Vault 101, and I had 101 episodes. Like, I still see that sometimes. It just blows my mind that it, that happened. And then it, that it happened again with uh, New Vegas. Oh, wow, that cave literally just appeared. Is this your little... <laughs> this is your other little club? You have one club that pretend that hunts vampires and one club that is vampires? Or it might just be one dude? Let's see. If I know Oblivion and Elder Scrolls and Bethesda games in general, the enemies here will be leveled vampires. Oh, speak of which, paraphilic hemophilia known as vampire disease. Okay, I have cure disease potions. Two, just in case. Wow. I've been more okay, but it's now being used as a vampire, and I need to stop see if I can find Serta and put a stop to his charade. Oh, isn't that lovely? Thanks for the money. Do all vampires just know that like cloaking spell by default? Bad dog. Paths, eh? What the hell is this? It's like a wolf's den. I'm stuck. Who's a pathetic? You know fire spells? That doesn't seem fair. What is that weapon he's got, though? Elven dagger. Where did your sweet weapon go? Oh, Skelly Man. Seriously, he had like a cool axe thing. Oh, maybe it was like a conjured weapon. It might have been a conjured weapon, actually. That's a shame. Well, you've been enjoying your meal, I guess. Dang vampires. Gosh dang vampires. Are vampires a classification of zombie? They're undead. Although I guess a zombie by definition is an, is an undead with no mental capabilities. Uh, that was a conjured weapon. Dang, it looks cool too. Oh, hello Mr. Ghost. goodies whoa look at that coffin that is a serious one stone and everything okay this was a dead end that's typical oh barrel no I don't need torches I have I have torch I forgot I have a torch. In all those moments when I've been playing and it's super dark, I've had a torch. I might be an idiot. Maybe. Holy shit! Between the lag and that thing just popping up. Scared the shit out of me. Why the lag? What is it with this place? Hello. Oh, I saw you. There you go. Come back, you shit stain. Did he have a glass bow? He might have. Is there another dude here? I guess not. Vampire battle mate. What is that? Glass bow. 10 damage, 18 weight. Isn't that the same as my ebony bow, but light? Oh no, this is 11 damage. 
Was my marksmanship? Elven longsword. I guess my marksman's marksmanship went up. You know what? I'm going to hold 10 silver arrows just in case I get into a position where I'm stuck and I can't move and there's a ghost that's annoying me. Seems worth it. Let me make sure I haven't contracted any diseases. I'm still okay. God, these windy paths. Oh, there's a dead end. What is this stuff? Wisp stalks. Because they look like ghostly little mushrooms, I guess. Bad dog. There. Nice try. Vampire Bard? That seems like a weird class for vampires. Are they going to sing songs about sucking blood? God, repair hammers out the wazoo here. Who's there? Who's there? Stop going invisible, you little fucker. Stop it. Vampire Witch Hunter. Not the same as mine. Resist cold pants. Glass short sword. That seems to be the default now. Oh, lovely. Really? I'm picking a lock on this tiny wooden fence. I could literally fall over on it and break it. Whatever. Dead captive. He sure is. Headless zombie. Headless zombie. Ooh, funny. Now you guys aren't using it. And people in Skyrim don't believe in the whole put two coins on someone's eyes to let them go to rest. Hey, look! <laughs> I've slain Serador. I should return immediately to... I should have probably talked to him, but who knows. Ebony short sword. My worst f fears come true. It's significantly stronger, but it's not fire. Ugh. Do I take it? Let's see, this weighs 18, that weighs 20. I can't enchant things, so that would be kind of a waste. Oh, Elven Greaves, how does that compare to... Oh, I have Elven Greaves, never mind. What else does he have? Gauntlets, Kyrus, and Boots. Gauntlets, yeah, just a little heavier. Kyrus house key. It, but I want uh nah it's alright I'll wait till I find an enchanted ebony it has to or if I figure out how to enchant myself I guess ah man I knew that would happen I knew I'd find one I should have probably spoken with him but whatever Oh, this place has been a great source for lockpicks. Can you cut these? Nope. And those classy skull <laughs> alarms. Vampires are too good for the old-fashioned string can. Wait, how do I... I didn't even see that skeleton in there before. Did I search over here? I did not. I missed that little nook. How do we get out? I want out, please. Okay, this looks familiar. Yeah, I searched. Okay. I think I came into this way, and then... Okay, a dead wolf. That's a good sign. That's not. Damn this confusing layout. There we go. Oh, great. 
Nah, it's nothing. Hmm. Yeah, it's a nice armor. It's all elven. I guess that's it. That's as high as... No, I think glass is as high as it goes for light armor. I don't think I've seen a lot of glass armor, though. Oh, I'm gonna go tell the dude that I killed the bad guy. Go on. Load yourself. Go. Go. We're almost there. Come on. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Thank you. Ah, damn it, he's asleep. <sighs> Fine. Make me wait. Okay, how about now? I hope you're here to bring me good news. I am. Theodore. He's dead? Thank goodness. I feared I'd never be able to leave here, or worse, that he would come for me. I can finally return home. The ironic thing is that I think the Order of the Virtuous Blood should continue its work. Perhaps I'll speak to the others. Yes, I think that the Order will live on. Give me time to make arrangements and meet me in Ceridor's basement. Oh, it's not over. I hear I thought it would be. The gray fox sound. Fire. Horrid creatures. I hope we never see one in the Imperial City again. Yeah. Let us never speak of that abomination again. Okay. I'll see you in the Imperial City. Do I just need to wait now? Okay, uh, let's do 24 hours. Oh, did I just need to travel here? I waited all that time for nothing. Oh, hmm. Hello, I didn't know Cerador was a vampire. I swear. I serve Roland now. Please, accept my apologies for my error in judgment. Okay, good talk. Weird. Alright, fellas. Hello again, my friends. It's so good to see you again. I spent a good deal of time speaking with Gillen and Greystroke. They agree that the Order should live on. Not only that, but we'd like to make you an honorary member. If you're ever in need of our services, we'd be happy to provide them. For what you. are your services? In addition, we'd like to reward you with this enchanted ring. Use it well in the fight. Ring of Sunfire? Ooh. At least there are a few less vampires in the world now. Well done. But there are more of these creatures that still roam Cyrodiil. If any of our books can help you in the cause of destroying more, you're welcome to read them. Since you're an honorary member of the Order, if you bring back proof you've slain a vampire, we'd be glad to compensate you. Vampire dust. Bring back the vampire dust from their remains. That should be proof enough. Excellent. Oh, I didn't want to... Oh, 250. That's May the sunlight always stay totally worth your it. path. What can the Order help you with, brother? Ron? I'm pleased to call him brother. Okay. So you guys don't actually have any services, it would seem. That was more of a metaphorical. Mm. That's a shame. Alright, well, that's it for this quest, right? Yes, we, brother. A vampire convinced me to go hunt a vampire, and then I hunted the vampire that hunt, told me to go hunt vampires. Yep. I think now... I want to do stuff in the arena, so we'll do that in the next episode. So thanks for joining me. Come back on the next episode real soon, but until then, bye.